Hi everybody, I'm Auntie Dana. It's time for a story. And Lucky needs help. You think the dog is lucky or the cat is lucky? Hmm, we're gonna find out. All right, this book comes to us today from author and editor, Dilpreet Carr and Renee Thomas. All right, this is Vision Street Publishing. Can you see those behind me? That's what we're gonna make after. All you need is a paper plate and some felts. But right now, we're gonna find out which, the dog or the cat named Lucky, which one? Here we go. Sammy, the puppy, has been adopted and now lives in a new home. It's a big house where he can run and play with his favorite ball. Yay. Lucky also lives at the same house. Lucky is a cat. She doesn't want to play with Sammy. She finds him too noisy and too busy. She likes it when it's quiet in the house. Right? Because cats like to nap during the day. The kitchen. Well, Lucky is lying on the couch in the living room napping. Mm -hmm. Sammy bursts out loudly from the kitchen, running after his ball. Oh dear, cat doesn't like that. Lucky looks up angry and she leaves the living room. She goes into the kitchen. And there she's walking out. I'll just go somewhere else. The kitchen is bathed in sunlight. Lucky walks towards a piece of string hanging from one of the open cupboards. Oh, you know the cat's like string, hmm? There she's walking. I see the string in the corner there. Lucky jumps up on the counter and sees kitchen towels nicely folded inside. They smell fresh from the laundry. Oh, that looks exciting to a cat, right? A private, soft, cozy space. To finish her nap. Lucky jumps inside the closet to lie down. But the moment she lands on the towels, the door closes behind her. Oh dear. And look, you can see she's getting tangled up in the string too. Oh no, so the door's closed. <gasps> what is she going to do? The towels are soft, like Lucky expected. But it's dark in the closet. Oh, yeah, it is with the door shut. But that was an accident. Lucky starts to meow. Maybe Sammy will hear her and help her. Meow! That's a loud meow, huh? But Sammy is busy playing in the living room. He's running after the ball and doesn't hear Lucky. Yeah, he's still playing. Nice and happy, he doesn't hear that. Lucky starts to meow harder. At that moment, Sammy's ball rolls towards the kitchen. Sammy lifts his head as he hears Lucky. He looks for her, but doesn't see her. Where is she? He's looking around. Mm-hmm. You and I know. Lucky meows one more time. Sammy approaches the closet where the string is hanging. Hmm, that's a good hint, right? He grabs the string with his teeth and pulls. The closet door starts to move. He pulls harder and the door finally opens. Meow, meow, right? Still saying, I'm here, I'm here. Lucky was very excited when the door opened. She started to climb down the cupboard while Sammy eagerly waited for her. Oh, she's back smiling. Da, 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 da. Hey, I think they're gonna be friends now. Lucky jumps out. Thank you, thank you. You are welcome, says Sammy. How did you get in the closet? 
Lucky starts explaining the story to Sammy. Look at, they're going to be best friends now. So she's explaining the story of how she jumped up there. She saw the towel, but then the string was hanging. And the door closed because of that string when she jumped in. Lucky looks at the ball and asks shyly, Can I play with you? Of course, answers Sammy excitedly. Sammy and Lucky play the rest of the afternoon together with the ball. Oh, so many fun and games. Oh, there's more. From then onwards, Sammy and Lucky play every day together. Except when Lucky wants to take a nap. Playing with a friend is always more fun than playing alone. But you also have to respect when someone wants to rest. And that's just what Sammy's doing. I love stories like that when someone comes along and helps out. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you think? Does my paper plate look like a beach ball? And there's another one. Yeah, I think we should try one. Let's see. There is like a big one, a little, a little one. Okay, so all we do is to trace out the ball first. Okay, so I thought the center, the center of the beach ball, and now we're going to give it some spots for different colors, right? Yeah, just any old way, because we're going to color them in. Okay. There is our beach ball with all the lines. Okay, now we're just gonna color, color that in, bring it to life. Have you been to the beach this year? Have you had a chance to play with the beach ball? Um, even if you weren't at the beach, maybe you could have one in your backyard. Maybe you have a little kiddie pool, right? Yeah. Because you could have one for real if you wanted, right? They're easy. Sometimes um, you might need a grown-up to help you with the beach ball to blow it up. <sighs> like a balloon, right? But it's not going to pop. It's going to have a lot of air. And that way it's really lightweight to throw around, right? You can play toss with your friends. You can play catch. You can make it into... Um, like a basketball try to get into a hoop yeah there's so many different games you can do with a ball or a beach ball and the one that we're making we're not going to be able to bounce it or throw it quite like you would think but I'll show you as soon as I get a little more color on here what we can do with this one. Color, color. Get all the colors, right? So color on a paper plate is a little bit, some people might just cover the top. I like to cover, color the whole thing into the crinkly part. And we've got a few more colors here to go. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna find out what the paper plate beach ball can actually do. Ooh, nice bright yellow, hey? Yeah, yellow is the color that's cheery and bright. I always think of the sun, sunshine, right? When it's the color yellow. Okay, what have we got so far? We have two purples, purple, purple, green, yellow, Oh, okay, let's try to find, I've got my trusty colors here. Oh, you're gonna like this one, orange. Okay, I'm gonna turn this, there. It's gonna be orange, orange like, what are some things that are orange? Um, cantaloupe, 
The fruit? An orange, of course. Hmm, what else? What else? Oh, maybe in the fall when the leaves start changing color? They're orange. Or just some other things that could be orange. Right, Orange Shirt Day is coming up next month. Yeah. So clothes are orange. Okay. What's the last color that we've got here? I would say it's kind of a red, red, brown, maroon. <laughs> right? Yeah. We like to have fun saying words and stuff, right? We like to have fun, be silly, be happy. Okay, that's what we do here when we have Auntie Dana stories. Yeah, it's a moment to relax and learn and be yourself. I think we got it colored. Da, 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 da. Just like the other ones. Now I have four. Okay, I'm going to sit back a bit. And I'm going to show you because we can't bounce it, right? And we can't throw it because it doesn't, it's just right here. So I'll show you something. Do you know what a frisbee is? When you throw it sideways, you toss it sideways and it flies. So let's test it out, okay? I'm going to go back a bit and tell me if you see it. <laughs> I'm going to try another one. Woohoo! Remember, the next time you want to hear a story read out loud, it's always Auntie Dana. You want to come here. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>